surprisingly, the puzzles are pretty straightforward. Because you gotta get back to the gun shooting. The bang bang. Right, Elena? The bang bang bang. Brap brap. You know what I'm talking about. The secret library? Oh, another library? Huh. What now? You know, this looks familiar. Oh, we're doing a lot of puzzle solving now. Um. I was gonna say, I thought I saw a shiny. Golden cup and cover! I would not think that was a cup. Um. I was gonna say, you can't really complain about another library when we're still in the library. Like, we didn't go far away from it. Yeah, so we have to do something with that. I'm not allowed to look at the... There we go. The inverted torch leads to the land of the dead. Yeah, well, that's simple enough, then. We just had to do it twice. Four times? I was gonna say, I heard something. Wow. This looks promising. Here, let me see that. Yeah. Okay. You two sit tight. I'm gonna check things out. Whoa, wait, no. You're not going out there alone. Yeah, Roman's men are swarming all over this place. Yeah, and one person will make a lot less noise than three. Oh, Come on, that's I'll be fine. Factually you guys be safe here. They don't even know about this room. Okay, take this with you. Leave it on channel 13. They don't use that one. And keep us posted. All right, you got it. Close this thing back up. Yeah. Nate, be careful. <laughs> Come on. I always am. Ah! I did not see that! Ah! Like, how much noise did Drake make by himself okay. leading up to... End of the dead. Here we go. Leading up to when we met up with Elena. I swear to God, if I start having a shootout in here, I'm going to freak out. I'm still a little peeved about the, uh, the key door that we had to do. Where we had to go up in the tower to get a key, and it's like, ooh, it's all magical, and it's part of the map, and it's, uh, it's special. And it just led to an area with a bunch of guys with guns. Like, what was the point? It wasn't special. I don't think there was any indication of it being special. But we're, we're in, like, cool special territory now. Look at this. No one's here. I can't wait to find some ammo, because I have to blow up an explosive barrel. Can I shimmy around this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm shimmying. Whoa! Whenever, like, stuff crumbles like that, I always just assume that it's not gonna actually crumble until I get away from it. I think it will eventually in this game, but... I don't know. It's not quite as exciting. Aha, under the waterfall. Golden skull. Let's oh, that's a good looking skull. That's a sexy looking skull. Let me shimmy. Uh-oh. See? What like what 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 is this? They're already here. They already know I'm here. Could have thrown that a lot sooner, I guess. I, I wanted to try to do this again. One person would make a hell of a lot less noise than multiple. That definitely was helpful. I think I'm way too far away for the shotgun to be as effective as I hoped it would be. Probably should have just fisted him. But I was a, a little scared. A little a scared, I say. Also, I think that guy was a shotgun man, which... If I had realized before I pulled out the pistol and shot him in the head, I absolutely would have gone for a shotgun blast instead of risking the pistol shot not doing anything. 
like I I get the adventure genre tends to have you being one step behind well the heroes being one step behind the bad guys often but I'm just saying like this is a bit extreme they don't know about this place they're already here quick Drake go back up and like knock on the door and just tell them that hey I, I screwed up we we are way behind how did they get here the gates closed this is like a dead end where did they come from? Really need those uh, gunfights in this game. No time to rest. Oh, we're just back up to the church we were at, aren't we? Surprised they even let me be here a little sneakily. Wonder how much I can be sneaky. I think if I try... I know there's a guy behind that pillar. I'd imagine if I try to run out, they're gonna see me. But it's okay, because I got a treasure. Silver snuff box. Gonna snuff you out. Oh, especially when he's showing up right now. Yeah, so much for my uh, stealth approach. Wow, what a great grenade throw. At least the grenades seem like very... Yeah, that was my bad. The grenades don't seem that useful from them either. Oh, I went way too soon. Let's try that again. I think we should probably be able to stealth a little bit. I would think anyways, just with the way the room's set up. That guy was scratching his balls. I did get to that corner with only this guy seeing me. But I don't think this would constitute a stealth kill. He's here. Damn it. Not when I do that. Drop him. I was trying to do like a dodge roll into him kind of thing. It was dumb. It was a dumb idea. That guy was getting ready to do a grenade, so I was really desperate to try to get him, and it wasn't a good idea. The problem when they don't let you, um, crouch walk. Can you, like, turn around a little bit? Oh, stretchy boy. All right, they didn't actually hear that. There's that guy. That guy's way over there. He's over there. What? Okay. I mean, I was in cover, right? When he saw me. I'm gonna I'm gonna call Malarkey on that one, I think. Damn it. Shoot me real good with that one. Best bet might be to try to just stay nearer to that column. Come on! I want to try stealthy! Guess if I'm not behind cover at all, they're really not going to be a fan of it. That guy kind of booked it to the corner real quick, didn't he? Okay, so the guy in the middle was who saw me before. Like I said, I just wish I could do a like a crouch shimmy walk at least.
obviously I could just try to handle the room normally, but I mean, the best course of action would be to just hide in the corner, wait for someone to come up, shotgun them in the throat, and then move on. This guy might actually be the best stealth option if he continues to walk this way. Although, I don't know how they react to bodies if they do. Look at him, he's like bobbing. Damn it. I went way too soon. I thought I would be more behind him. I want to try, just because it almost almost seems possible. At the very least, I really think I could at least get two guys. Which also, at the very least, it kind of seems like it's really silly to try to do when it's just two guys. Especially when we have to wait for that guy forever. Cool. Especially when that doesn't work. Go into like anything that's actual cover. I mean, that's a little lame, isn't it? To have him in a spot that looks very stealthable. And then just tell me, nah, not allowed. I would like to avoid, uh, Having two guys coming at me with hmm, look at look at him doing a little slicky slide. I don't think that worked. I'm afraid of him because he's shotgun. I know he's far away, which means I probably will be safe, fish. Oh, that was a bit of a lucky shot. I almost got myself shot in the skull. I need like a better angle. Oh, I don't think you can shoot me from there, buddy. Damn, that was like the best spot for me. And now I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Now I know where he is. Okay. I feel safer staying out of cover with those guys. Since they have to spend so much time um, aiming. And that has to be like it, right? Hmm. I don't know where else they would be. I heard him though. Definitely wasn't a... Up maybe? Oh there. Oh god, they're just all over the goddamn place. What was that slide? I, that slide pissed me off. The way he was able to slide into that cover so cleanly. Mm. I know that wasn't great, but I was kind of panicking. Now are we done? Hey, we're done. Not. I know it's kind of lame to 
go into that to try to figure out whether or not I'm safe, but I don't want to be blindsided. I don't want to, like, come out of cover and think, like, oh, good. I think we've completed the encounter and then have those two guys, one of them with a shotgun, just blast me in the balls. Not really something I would be looking forward to. And we got a decent amount of ammo back, too. And grenades, so... As long as I come out with a pretty positive, uh... A decent, like, net of ammo still. I'm pretty happy with the situation. Like, some kind of bell puzzle. Bet huh. I can guess where this leads. How do I get it open? Two bells resound in perfect harmony. Well, I mean, there's two bells. <gasps> there's little keys. I don't know. I have to, like, get both of them to. I mean, I know this isn't going to work, but I don't see a way up. It looks like we'll have to go up. You can see climbables. Bong. Huh. Harmony. I just need to find a place to climb. I also don't really know why I would need to climb. Unless, but maybe. That did it. Puzzle solving. I think the problem with puzzles like that, that, I think that's good. That was a fun little solution, and it probably was just something that I remembered from before, but I think a problem with something like that is with video games, you don't always think of a solution like that because so usually when you shoot a random object, it doesn't cause anything to happen. Oh, I'm so... But that looks super climbable up there. I don't know if we come back here. I guess it doesn't really look like there's anything specific up there. I think we, we have to come back here. Because, like, look at that key. Those keys are, like, the, uh, the symbol. I wish we could look at the book. The symbol that Sully was talking about. We have to come back here. We got all the clues right here. We can do this, kid. How the hell does he think he's going to get that statue out of here anyway? Now there should be no one in here, right? Oh, cool. Hey, found a treasure. Silver Spanish goblet. Always people ahead of me. Just kill me. They're everywhere. Just get me out of here. I'm going to get back into better cover. Or try to anyways. Shotgun's my best friend. Right. Like, this is kind of pissing me off. We're, like, solving puzzles, getting into places. And they're just always already here. Oh, Jesus. I'm surprised I got that headshot. Take him down. Come on. Get your head down. Come on. Buddy. Take your head out. You're not dead. I saw you shimmy back in the cover. Now you're dead. I saw your gun go flying. Fuck! I 
I expect a, someone to be around the corner, which is why I pull out my shotgun just in case. My panic there was a little silly, though, because I panicked into cover, which is usually what I do when I die because there's someone hiding in the corner. It was just an assault rifle, man, which, like, that still hurts, obviously, but at least I feel like I have more of a chance of sneaking out of that. Can't wait for people to start shooting me while I'm trying to parkour. Yep. This is completely unacceptable. What do you expect from me, Roman? My men are getting massacred. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that one man could wipe out your entire crew. I wiped out a whole it's army. Just drink, God damn it! I'm telling you, this island is cursed! Enough. Take your sorry mob and go. Wait, you can't cut me loose. You owe me a share of the gold! Your share, Eddie, was contingent upon you doing what I required. You assured me that Drake was captured and the island secure. Oh, this is bullshit, Roman, and you know it! We are done here, Mr. Roger. I die, Camel! <laughs> My dear Jello! Sealan! Remind me again why you employed that superstitious idiot? You wanted someone cheap. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for, I suppose. And what about you, Navarro? Are you worth what I'm paying you? The vault's here. I'm sure of it. If Sullivan can be trusted... Which he can't. Look, he knows we'll kill him if he's lying. Don't be stupid. He knows we'll kill him once we find the treasure. He has no incentive to tell the truth. Really, Navarro, sometimes I think you left your brains back in that slum where I found you. I just need a little more time. Chasing this treasure of yours is proving to be more trouble than it's probably worth. I assure you, El Dorado is worth more than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> it had better be. Quick, Nate, throw a grenade up there. They won't see it coming. Where's that cigarette he dropped down? I don't see it. Is this the way I need to go? I think this is the way I came in from. I'm going this way. Okay. You can grab onto that part, Nate. That's fine. Drop it down here for a treasure, though. Yep. <laughs> Silver ingot. I want my shotgun still. You would think they would have heard all the gunfire from underneath them. Or they wouldn't have this conversation. Like, basically, realistically... Say this was, like, a movie and not a game pretending to be a movie. You would have Nate just going through the catacombs and then happening upon them to hear the conversation. There wouldn't be these extra bits of gunfire and... Just guys here for some reason. I don't like these gates because usually that means it closes on me and I have nowhere to hide. Hey, we're in chapter 15 though. On the trail to El Dorado. On the trail of the treasure. I don't know which way is progress. I don't even know where I am. No shinies up there. Can't climb up that, apparently. The gate, so probably not this way, which means treasure might be over here. Were we over there before? I don't know if this was a gate we've seen. Uh, there were a couple of gates that were closed off. <laughs> Gotta do our short hops to get across. But I think yeah, that has to be the cathedral, right? That we... Could have just gone in any time. And also, why weren't people shooting or, like, coming out of the cathedral when we were having the gunfire in the courtyard? 
Bad game design. Well, I, I know we want to get up there. Because that's very much a climbable... Oh, there's a lot. I guess the idea is to figure out where we start climbing. I don't think it would be this, would it? I guess it was. And I also think, I'm assuming, realistically, the story wants us to believe that more of his men are dying because of the weird, uh, whatever is setting up these traps, compared to Nate going Rambo mode on everyone. That's the narrative dissonance that everyone keeps talking about. I finally get it. Guess we're going up there instead. Are we still, like, following the trail? I know the name of the... The name of the, uh... The chapter is... Okay. Really? Mm. Cool. Didn't really have much of a chance. Oh, cool. They spawned me. Where everyone... <laughs> why, why they gotta be like this? Oh, Lord. Do you see? Where am I? Do we know where we are? Hmm. I don't really like how I waste it. Oh, God. It's like a big area. Is there a treasure over there? I didn't really like how I wasted my shotgun shell, so I kind of wanted to just let this happen. But I, uh, I, I don't... I guess the idea... Uh, okay, no. The idea is to be able to kind of book it out of here. There are a couple of exits. Yeah, that guy didn't dodge too good, did he? I love when they have their, like, they're holding their assault rifle in one arm and they're just going nuts with their other arm. There are so many guys up here. I, is the best idea to bail? Are we back at the courtyard? Where are we? I'm really confused. Wait, is this... This is... Yeah, we are back at... No, 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 not the... The, um... We're back at the... The first... Courtyard, I think. The one... Where... This is where the uh, shotgun guy got me. And I hid in the corner where they blew the door down. So strange. Can't believe they would reuse assets like this. Bad game design. I wonder if oh, they're... Shit. Where did that come from? I wonder if there's new treasure. Probably not, right? Also, I... Am in a bad spot because I... Probably should have just slowly dealt with the people in the uh, hallway. Although I think this is the hallway up here. I thought that was a good shot. It wasn't. I'm dead. I'm gonna... Nope. Never what I want to do. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, I'm upset because that really looked like that should have killed one of their guys. If I just wait here long enough, they might grenade each other. Yeah, I, I think this is just the top floor, which I... I guess was this blocked off before? I wonder if they just left the other part open just so we could see. Yeah, safe enough. Did you see that grenade though? I'm just waiting until one guy dies from this. Uh -oh. <laughs> there he is, dead on the floor. Uh, what a silly man. Um, best bet is to probably get out of cover and then just. Except when I hit a wall. Nope, please stop with this, Nate. This is never where I want to be. I think there's a trophy for uh, K 
killing people while hanging. So I guess I could try to do that. Honestly, out of cover still seems like the best course of action. If only because I'm like angled a bit better and I can stay like hidden behind a wall. Where when I'm in cover, Nate kind of pulls out his whole body. That was bad. That was all bad. Where did you come from, guy? I have plenty of ammo. It's fine. It's fine, and I'm missing all of my shots. Don't worry about it. Sometimes I hit. Most of the times I miss. Pretty sure there is a uh, hit ratio in the statistics menu. I'm sure that'll not make me upset. Kind of like half trying. That's my excuse. There probably are still guys. Nate, you read me? Never mind. Yeah. Sully, I'm just going in circles here. Well, the girl and I have been reading some of the books down here, and it looks like there's some kind of secret gallery at the top of the church. Can you get there? I think so. Yeah. All right. Give us a call if you find anything. Because we had to go that way up. This might have been gated. Also, was there a wall? No, I must have just stepped on something. Um... I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they'll still... Paranoid. I think I ended up doing this for later Naughty Dog games when I realized that it worked this way. Hell, I remember, I think, doing it with Last of Us. And sometimes it screws you up because it'll say that the uh, restart checkpoint less than a minute ago. And it'll be a bit further back with the restart than where you expect it to be. And it's like, it's further back with the restart than it would be if you killed yourself, which is kind of weird. never realized how scully this is. And there's a little, uh, pickaxe. Tires and stuff, so, like, that was done recently-ish. Yeah, I, I don't think we were able to go this way at all. I think I remember being over there and thinking, I can't go that way. Heard music. Well, I mean, there's like almost always music, but you know, sometimes it's scary. But this bird, this gold bird vessel, not scary. What, what, what's the point of the top if it's not like a cup hole? What is this bird? What does this bird do? Who is this for? Nate, tell me about the bird. Nate. Also, while well, I'm walking around, so that's that same symbol we saw. Not symbol, a mural. I think that's the same one we ended up seeing. I was never down there before, so probably some goodies if I walk down the stairs. Before I do, though, I want to check around and make sure no one's going to shotgun me from behind. Because I've, I've learned from this game, people love to shotgun you from behind. Or from the front, but like, you know, they show up so quickly that you don't have a chance. So unless if I have a shotgun ready and I just, you know, shoot immediately. I might get shotgun in the face. Without realizing that it was going to happen. Or you should be good, though. Yeah, this is just way over there. Okay. Well, that's cool that we're back here. I wonder how much more we're gonna return to. Like I said, the uh, the church looked like it definitely would be a uh, another place just because it had those those like the key models on the church. Looked very... Maybe we're just back there now, actually. Over there. I, I saw the wayside cover. You couldn't hide it from me. <laughs> eh, maybe I shouldn't have shotgun you. Although that still hurt. But I think... Did you have a shotgun? Yes, you did. Don't want... 
There we go. Didn't want the M4. No siree. I'm a shotgun man. The shotgun has been so helpful. Yeah, we are back at the church, so I guess this is... It wasn't so much that we were, uh... Gonna come back later as much as we were still technically in the area. See, now that's a cup. You're, I, like, you're an awful vessel. Maybe they put, like, the... Corpse of a duck in there. You know, like how the, uh... Egyptians did with their cats. Do 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 do. That's gotta be it. Okay. So we probably have to just move the keys to be like the same diagonal, I guess. We're in puzzle mode, so hopefully that means we will not have to shoot anyone. You know how I feel about shooting. A lot of crumbling. We're like zigzagging. Are there still like shiny guns down there? Yeah, there are. Let's go. Shiny guns. Punch the barrel. Goodies in the barrel. Oh, what was that? Nate. A little spinny. Nate? Nate was being a little difficult. God, there are, like, so much trash that these other faction were able to get. Like, who- what wheel is that? What wheel would that be for? Is that the airplane? It was a- What are they called? Boat plane? <laughs> What's a boat plane called? I'm done now. <laughs> I- I didn't feel like jumping and Nate for once didn't feel like hitting the ledge. At least it checkpointed the dead corpses. That would have been upsetting if it didn't. And if, I don't know. Every time I die, I feel like I need to double check the treasure. I don't need it. Aqua plane. Water ski. That's what the planes are called. Part of me wanted to say biplane because it does two things, but we all know that's not accurate. But at least I stopped myself from saying it, besides the explanation about how I almost said it. So now I don't sound like a complete fool. I don't, like, his angle just doesn't look like he would actually go for the wood here. Alright, let's try not just toppling down, Nate. I also feel like he totally could have survived that fall, but... Obviously, we wouldn't want to have to make our way all the way back around. So, fair enough that they killed me. These uh, stained glass windows don't really look like anything. Oh, I don't even think it was really a puzzle. We just have to pull this down. Well, why did the music get scary? Not as cool as I thought it would be. Who built this? Who said there'll be like giant key levers? You know what? I do think I need to go that way, actually. I was going to say, it didn't really look like there was anything for me to do, but I can't see a way to cross over from over here. And I know I was able to jump all the way around that, but I'm scared. I don't want to risk it. I didn't quite realize that this over here would be a uh, grabbable until I looked around and saw. Okay, Nate. Goodbye. Guess we're doing this again. Uh, if you couldn't tell, what I wanted Nate to do was grab the... Uh, the outcrop area that was like right there from the chain. I guess the best thing for me would have been to not be swinging on the chain. I think, didn't we run into that problem before when we were like climbing the outside of the fortress wall? 
Lesson learned, never swing. It's okay, I'm just practicing for the speedrun challenge. And I know what you're saying. How could you be practicing for the speedrun challenge if you're going so goddamn slow? Uh, I would say stop being mean to me. I, I just really don't. I don't know why from back here it doesn't look like I would be able to jump over that. And I think I could. Like I said, the risk is too scary. Okay. Let's try to not do whatever Nate decided to do there. I don't I think he has to swing it. Nate! I've seen you jump a lot farther than that, Nate. Did you see how limp? He didn't even jump. He just kind of, like, gave up. It would be a lot uh, better for me if we didn't start all the way back here. But, again, at the very least, we don't have to shoot two dudes. If we had to do the gunfight part over and over again, I would be very upset. I'm almost convinced it would be easier to try to jump from the uh, last chandelier. Also, what is this unlocking for us? He looked at the uh, stained glass and said this has to be it because it's the heart. But like, I don't know what it will do to help us out. I'm going to do it. Wow, what a shortcut. I did it. All right, it was fine. I still didn't feel safe, but it was fine. Okay, so what if I, like, swing a lot? Like, I... I'm right there, Nate. Nate! Nate is right there. He's right there. He's right there! How do... Don't give me a hint about the keys. I know about the goddamn keys. Tell me how do I go from a swinging chain to the very obvious grapple point. Nate! This is harder than the... the uh, I was going to call it the courthouse again. The customs house. Nate's hardest challenge yet. A chain. I'm almost, like, ready to look up a guide at a, like, specific point. It's like, there was a, um... I don't know why I remember this so vividly. There is a very specific part in Assassin's Creed 2 where you have to climb a tower, which, you know, you do in Assassin's Creed 2. And the way it was set up... It was set up in a way that, like, clearly you would just keep going straight up. But there is a specific grapple point that just didn't want to work from the angle that it usually would work on that you had to kind of finagle your way over it like awkwardly and I this kind of reminds me of that like this shouldn't be something that I'm struggling with it is just there can I wait 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 can I like no he's just going for the swing I almost wanted to try to like leap from wall to the other wall Oh, there we go. I guess on the, like, down path. But what do I do from here? Wait, what do I do from here, though? Nate doesn't want to go anywhere. Nate! What am I doing? I think he wants to go back to the chain. He won't go backwards. I'm... Freaking out. You know what? This is probably for once I do the window. Hmm. This is how we live our uncharted lifestyle. I'm I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Would I be able I guess I would be able to jump over there. Hint! Thanks, hen. Cool hen. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, we have fun here. That hint really pisses me off too, though. I guess if you're really stuck and don't know that you need to go for the key. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing, Nate? Just shimmying? That's fine, Nate. We'll just shimmy over there. Hint, where is it? Thank you. I'm pretty confident you could just break that window, Nate. You have a gun. Shoot the window. Also, again, who is this for? Like, now watch as I struggle to get to this one and have to do everything all over again. There we go. What was that, Nate? I saw you go for the grab and you decided not to. Hey, good checkpoint for once at least. Can I just... Nope. <laughs> Can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am. I, I really do apologize. I'm getting a little uh, tuckered by the Uncharted experience. Uh, it was. It's my fault. I would still blame the game for making this a really weird jump. What am I doing wrong? Okay, Nate. How many deaths did you accrue during your whole playthrough of Uncharted? Too many to count. Was it because of the gunfights? Mostly, but also, I just sucked at the church room. This cathedral made me want to pull my hair out. And it's not like it, it pre is presented in a hard way. I don't see like razor blades or anything that's like, ooh, man, you're going to have a heck of a time jumping through those razor blades. Jake just refuses to do things for me. Uh, it's, it's funny. I'm having fun. I am having fun. It's just, it's silly. Oh, he did it. Get me out of here. Oh, God. It almost looked like he was getting ready to jump down himself. Okay. How many people with guns are going to be in here, even though we just opened the door? Too many to count? No secrets for me? Not even me, your biggest fan, Drake? <laughs> 